XGen is the most efficient, modular-based, configurable power supply that's available to you, the end user. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly how we put together that design and how we achieved the 90% plus efficiency targets. If you look first from a mechanical point of view, you'll note that the chassis is extruded aluminium with grooves that are, that are pre-prepped to allow the insertion of the various power modules. Now, if I take the unit out of the chassis, and here's one that I have, you'll note here that it's broken up into two parts. We have the power mod, which is the front end, and we have the power packs, where the isolation barrier occurs across the main transformer. So each of these modules has an isolation barrier built on board. So we look first at the, the makeup of the power pack. So from a topology point of view, on board we have common mode and differential mode filters. And these are on board here to allow the unit to meet class B emissions on both radiated and conducted. And all of the details are listed on any of our data sheets as to the compliance of our units. We then take a bridge rectifier and we rectify the mains and we boost the voltage to approximately 380 volts. From then, we have a zero volt switch in which we generate a duty cycle, a fixed duty cycle of 50% plus and minus 185 volts. And this is what we used to power each of the individual power mods. The power mods themselves, as I've already mentioned, have the transformer on board and it's done via this winding board here. So I've briefly drawn out here a top level diagram of what we would expect to see if we look at the power mods themselves. Now as I've mentioned, the output from the power pack is plus and minus 185 volts, 50% fixed duty cycle, and we take that voltage and we feed it into a self-driven bridge uh, stage on each individual power mod. The power mods themselves have a winding board, so they step the voltage down to a certain level. For example, the XG5s are 70 volts, the XG4s will be 40 volts, the XG3s will be 24 volts, the XG2s will be 12, and on an XG1, that bus voltage will be an 8 volts. And we then take that DC bu bus and we have a synchronous buck where we set the output voltage. This is how we can achieve the wide output range on each of the individual power mods. And each of these are an independently controlled loop. Each of these has their own safety features on board, such as current limiting, power limiting, over voltage protection. Each of these can be controlled uh, via an enable and disable switch. Each of these can also have their voltage trimmed on the fly in the application. And the power pack itself also has a number of safety features built on board, such as thermal shutdown, such as current limit such as power limit. And this is how we achieve the highly efficient topology from input to output and at the same time provide you with a lot of the feature set and the wide trim range on each of the power mods. 